In the province of Quebec right now, there is a renewed push by the French governmental powers that be to further restrict the English language by forcing large companies to include a French descriptive in their company name. The province's language police are cracking down again, and this time some big-name stores are being targeted. You see, originally there was an exemption in the law, Bill 101, that meant large registered trademark stores like Walmart and others didn't have to change their trademark names. The province's language watchdog admits it can't do much. Legally, we cannot require from such a company that they change their name because it is a registered trademark. This is one of the exceptions of the Charter of the French Language. But now, the French powers that be are even trying to force these stores to add what they are calling a French descriptive. There's no French description of the business. He would prefer something like Saint de Pneu, Canadian Tire, or Boutique Electronique, Future Shop. They say they get complaints from people who find English-only names offensive. Offensive? English-only names offensive? These so-called Canadian citizens find English-only names offensive? Really? Now that's what I would call offensive. What the heck are these people who say they find English-only names offensive doing living in Canada anyway? What they are doing and how they are doing it is typical of how those folks operate. They have been quite successful when it comes to the local small mom-and-pop stores as they basically scared them into compliance with their demands using threats of heavy fines and so on. But the larger companies who have lots of money and access to competent legal departments have told the Quebec government to back off. You see, no one actually changed the law before deciding they were going to try to force these companies into compliance with their newly invented formulation. Once again, as is so often the case, the French powers that be simply do not see any level of irony in how they choose to do the exact opposite of the things they don't want others to do to them. Things like branding products and company names in French, i.e. the traveling show the Cirque du Soleil as one example. For instance, a, a big strong brand in Quebec, uh, Le Cirque du Soleil. Would we want the Cirque du Soleil to have to change their brand uh, because they're doing business in the U.S.? Heaven forbid if, uh, as a prerequisite to allowing that tour to enter their province, some province demanded that the tour rename their show to something like the Sun Circus. This is not to mention the blatant ongoing branding of company names in French only outside the province in every other part of Canada i.e. stores and banks with names like Mon Cadeau, Desjardins, uh, Jean Coutu, etc., etc. Meanwhile, as the French powers that be press harder to rid the province of Quebec of any semblance of the English language, there is a major push in many parts of the rest of Canada outside the province of Quebec to do the exact opposite. There is a push to create a widespread acceptance that it's just great and wonderful for all Canadians to accept the idea that we can all be bilingual. This push has a range that goes from a subtle French nuance complete with its seductive edge in the English Canadian media. Bonjour Bonjour Why not try the grand grand? La vie grand marnier. Introducing Red Lobster Seed. All the way to up to a downright heavy propaganda which is geared towards brainwashing Canadians, again, those Canadians outside the province of Quebec where everything is French only, into believing and accepting the idea that Canada is a bilingual country. Tu veux faire quoi plus Yes. Smart move. I've learned from the best. L'éducation de qualité supérieure va influencer des perspectives d'emploi. French language education in Ontario is the best choice for your child's future. This kind of misguided promotion of the idea that one absolutely must learn French in order to get along and be something in this so-called bilingual country is sheer propaganda. The fact is, Canada is not anywhere near being bilingual. 
And the only reason why knowledge of French is such a heavy criteria right now for advancement is because we, the 80% majority English population, have bought into and accepted this lie. Our acceptance is the only thing that is holding this lie together right now. <clears throat> Furthermore, Canada cannot in any way, shape or form be labeled a bilingual country. Why, you ask? Well, first and foremost, the province of Quebec itself has legally declared itself to be unilingual French only. Just using that small example for the criteria tells us that Canada, the country, cannot be bilingual since one of its parts has declared itself unilingual French only. Ironically, it's the part that wants to force the rest of Canada to be bilingual that is not bilingual as a result of that legally binding French only declaration. Now, there is no suggestion that the French are responsible for these commercials, but the simple fact is that this kind of thing would face heavy opposition if any English company wanted to advertise in English only on any French television station. Beyond that, the two main serious issues in all of this are, one, the English majority seem to have turned a blind eye to the fact that Quebec wants nothing to do with the English language, the English people, or for that matter, anything to do with Canada itself. And two, as they buy into the fallacy, they, the majority English, are paying for their own demise as the French gain more and more power both inside the province of Quebec and outside the province of Quebec using bilingualism as the fake god that we should all bow to.